Did you know that Chris Evans is planning to return to the MCU, but not as Captain America because he feels the character got a perfect send-off? Instead, he wants to reignite the Human Torch from Fantastic Four, the role he first played back in the 2005 installment, and it would be possible due to the introduction of the multiverse, at least as a cameo. Did you know that Christian Bell was told that moving from DC to DC's rivals Marvel following his role as the Batman might feel like a risk? But Bell said that he actually had no idea what the MCU is. And he joined the franchise. Did you know how much money the lead actors were paid for the upcoming Thor Love and Thunder, starting with Emma Thompson at $1 million, moving on to a close by Natalie Portman at $1.2 million, to Chris Pratt at $5 million, and Christian Bale at $5.5 million, but with a considerable lead over all of them, Chris Hemsworth at $20 million. How old each Spider-Man actor was as Peter Parker? Tobey Maguire was 26 years old, playing a 17 years old Peter Parker as a high school senior. Andrew Garfield was actually 27 years old when he first played Peter Parker as 17 years old. As for Tom Holland, he played a 15 years old Peter Parker while he was 20 years old. Did you know that the actors who got their debut in the MCU with a solo movie got a massive salary increase once they reached Avengers Endgame, starting with Robert Downey Jr., who only received five. 100k for his role in the 2008 Iron Man, compared to 20 million in Endgame, in addition to 55 million from his back end deal for a grand total of 75 million dollars. Moving on to Chris Evans, who only received 300k in his first appearance in Captain America: The First Avengers, compared to 15 million in Endgame. Finally. Chris Hemsworth, who only received 150k for his first Thor movie, compared to another 15 million dollars in Endgame. Did you know that Spider-Man No Way Home is getting an extended cut re-release this September, sort of like Zack Snyder's Justice League, but hopefully not nearly as stretched, with deleted scenes and more screen time for Daredevil and Spider-Man in the Goblin final fight, and reportedly much more. The question is, will it be enough to push its earnings over 2 billion dollars? Here are the top five grossing MCU movies. At number five, we have of this list only non-Avengers entry, Spider-Man No Way Home, with $1.36 billion. At number 4, we have quote unquote the worst Avengers movie, Avengers Age of Ultron, with $1.4 billion. At number 3, the OG Avengers movie, The Avengers, with $1.5 billion. At number 2, we have my personal favorite, Avengers Infinity War, with $2 billion. And finally, at number 1, the most successful installment, Avengers Endgame, with $2.8 billion dollars. Did you know how much money the actors were paid for Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness? Sochel Gomez, $300,000. Rachel McAdams, $350,000. Benedict Wong, $350,000. Patrick Stewart, half million dollars. Chiwetel Ejiofor, $1 million. Elizabeth Olsen, $2 million. And Benedict Cumberbatch, $7.5 million. Did you know that in Doctor Strange, Benedict Cumberbatch actually plays two characters? The first is obviously the lead role, Doctor Strange. The second, and the one that you might not have known about, is voicing the interdimensional villain Dormammu, which means that Cumberbatch is essentially speaking to himself during the film's climactic final battle. Did you know that Thor Love and Thunder will be the first Thor installment without Loki? It's a shame not having him, and this deleted scene shows just how effortlessly hilarious he is. Oh, this is better. Ooh, the costume's a bit much. It's so tight, but the confidence. I can feel a righteousness surging. Hey, you wanna have a rousing discussion about truth, honor, patriotism? God bless America. Subscribe for more.